championship trophies for some low country teams. Justin Jarrett has the latest in sports. Hey, it's Monday, so it's time for Loco Lights on WHHI, powered by LocoSports.com. And it's time to crown a couple more state champs from the Loco, with the forecast calling for more titles this week. We had two Loco on Loco clashes with Skiza Girls soccer titles on the line Saturday at Hilton Head Christian Academy, starting with the Skiza 2A 1A title tilt between crosstown rivals Holy Trinity and Buford Academy. BA beat the Mighty Lions in last year's championship game, but Holy Trinity took both regular season matchups this spring and took an undefeated record into Saturday's showdown, and the Mighty Lions left without a blemish too. Izzy Harder put a pair of headers off corners in the back of the net, and Holy Trinity's stout defense made the margin stand in a 2-0 victory to claim the Skiza 2A 1A girls title. Hilton Head Preps girls ran it back for their second straight Skiza 3A title by holding off a pesky John Paul II team for a 1-0 win. We still have a chance at bringing a baseball title back to the Loco, but the weight sits on the shoulders of just one team after a rough weekend on the diamond for area squads. Our hopes of a Loco on Loco series for the Skiza 3A title went by the wayside when PD Academy hammered Hilton Head Prep 14-0 to earn a spot in the finals alongside Hilton Head Christian Academy, after both top seeds lost early in the bracket but fought through the backside. Best of three series starts tonight at PD and shifts back to Hilton Head Christian on Tuesday. It was the end of the road for the defending Skiza 2A champs though, as Patrick Henry dropped a 6-5 heartbreaker to Calhoun Academy on Friday, and Buford High's run ended with a 5-4 loss at Camden on Saturday. Only one softball team from the Loco is still standing as May River kept its incredible run alive for another day with a 9-1 win at Lugoff Elgin, but the Sharks ran out of gas in a 7-0 loss at West Florence on Saturday, sending the Knights to the lower state finals. That leaves only Colleton Prep, which played its way into the Skiza 2A Championship Series and will face Clarendon Hall for the title starting tonight. Heck of a run by JP2 in the Skiza 3A bracket, falling one win short of the finals. The state golf tournaments got underway this morning, so we'll crown more champs tomorrow and we'll run down the Loco qualifiers for the state track meets this weekend on tonight's Loco Sports Lowdown, streaming live at 10 p.m. on the Loco Media Network. For Loco Sports and WHHI, I'm Justin Jarrett. Until next time, go Loco. Thanks, Justin. We want to thank all of our guests for making us just a little bit smarter over the last 30 minutes. A special thanks to you for tuning in. If you missed anything at all, we'll be back in 90 minutes. I'm Bob Stevens.